Well, hello there. It's very nice to see each and every one of you. Uh, of whom there are none at the moment, but that that's that's okay. Well, what I mean to say is that I'm looking forward to seeing each and every one of you who shows up to play the video games. I I don't know why I went with German at the beginning. I, w I was going to do this. It's, it's October 1st. And that's different from Oktoberfest. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. A anyway, uh, it's October first. That's the beginning of uh, of what I like to refer to as spooky season. And so, uh, in that spirit, I have decided to uh, uh, make it a little spooky in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play some Nightmare Reaper. We're gonna we're gonna stick with uh, horror or or spooky themed games for the whole month of October. Uh, which should lend itself incredibly well to finishing out Dying Light 2, but uh, uh, I'll try to fit in some other stuff as well. I think uh, Witch Hunt would be fun. Um, there's a new game based on the, the creepypasta of the back rooms, which I think is, looks interesting, um, so I'd like to give that a shot. And, um, oh, I don't know. I Just like Alan Wake or uh, Silent Hill or... There's a whole bunch of like older games, like maybe if I can find an emulator that runs them, because um, I own I own them, but the fucking capture device I have is um, it only works on on PS4 and higher res systems. So either a I have to go out and buy another capture device, which um, or or I have to uh, get an emulator. So um, I, I could see playing through like the whole of Silent Hill though, the original one. I think that would be fun. Uh, or, um, uh, oh, oh, I really want to do, uh, there's Outlast Whistleblower. We've had a lot of fun with Outlast games on this channel. I gotta get the, um, the, the spooky sound effects thing working. Uh, cause it, you know, I got my, my silly sounds that play. Um, and it, it does not appear to be working or indeed have been working for, for some time. Uh, but uh, I think that's just because I have to relink it to my account or some crap. Anyway, you, you get the idea. The, the, whole, the whole goal here is to, to play some spooky games. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and kick it over to uh, Nightmare Reaper with a suitably chilling cackle. Uh, but we're actually going to uh, go into options and um, manage save game and new slot. Yes. Let's go ahead and start a, a new uh, game, because that's more fun. So you start by looking out your window in your horrible mental hospital cell where you've drawn some pictures on the ceilings and some arcane runes. What's this? Oh, well, this is the credits. Nice. Credit where credit's due. Yeah. I had been anticipating the first meeting with the patient with a blend of doubt and excitement. What had I gotten myself into? Uh, well, I, th I think that was supposed to bring up a... I had been anticipating the first meeting with the patient... It's supposed to bring up a picture, but it's it's not anymore, so maybe they, they need to patch that. Um... Oh, I turn the lights off. That's great. I guess I'll go to sleep. So in Nightmare Reaper, you play a mental patient who deals with her trauma through horrible nightmare dreams uh, and killing things. She kills the monsters from her dreams to get through her shit. A knife. Click infinite.
Easy enough. Thunder combo. Hey, bitches. Killing things triggers the music. And you know what you really don't want to go away? That awesome soundtrack by Andrew Hallshield. So why don't we just see if we can't keep that going with violence. The game urges you on to further conflict by teasing you with its sweet soundtrack. It says, oh, I'm sorry, did you want to hear more? Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to work for it. A silencer? Who the hell needs a silencer? First level introduces you to systems like this, just to get you used to playing the game. No, my precious tunes! Who needs a pistol when you can have a grenade launcher? Now, enemies drop these orbs that act as your health refills. Which you will need on the regular, on account of all of the accidental backsplash damage you'll take from the rocket launcher you opted for instead of a pistol. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, but the enemies show progressive damage. The more hits they take, the more horribly fucked up they look. Which is a nice touch. The sprites are incredibly well done. The artwork is phenomenal. Uh-oh. I appear to be out of weapons. We I guess I'll have to... Oh, yeah. And then these things come in here. So sometimes these traps show up and they're like little um, orbs, little little sphere things. And um, hang on a tick. I've got a visitor. I didn't even see you there. Sorry about that. I had my uh, my text minimized so little I didn't even see you came in. How you doing, D H Holmes? Or D Holmes rather. I keep wanting to say D H Holmes. How silly of me. I could go in there and that ends the level, but I want to make sure I found all the secrets first, so. And pick up all the gold. You want your treasure. You've worked for it. You ought to have it. I think we've seen all the secrets, but this is the, the part of the game design that I. I think could use a little bit of work is they definitely reward you for seeking out and finding secrets um, 
and then at the same time they make them pretty low visibility. They appear as cracks in the wall that you can kick open. And I've kicked open a couple so far. Does this seem stupid that I'm doing this? Well, it is. Fuck! I missed a treasure. See, so not getting that whole thing... Oh, I still get a partial bonus for almost getting all of them. Interesting, that's new. Um, and of course, I'm going to keep the fucking knife. Because it's infinite. And while it may not seem like the best weapon I have... It can't run out of ammo, and it's really quite handy. I had been anticipating the first meeting with the patient with a blend of doubt and excitement. What had I gotten myself into? It's a good question. There's the moon. Well, nothing to do but sleep, I'm afraid. Hollow Stone, part th part one of three. Alright, so, firsties. Top up here, see if this is a secret. Nope. Brandishing a knife. You best run for your life. Oh, you're a hardy one, aren't you? Oh, holy shit! Alright, well, this fire spell book is not too bad at all, huh? Right click does that. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 wow. Alright, so you just don't want to be in the room when that shit goes off. Got it. Okay. Wowie, wow. Hey, there's a secret. Lots and lots of gold. Good, good, good. That's what I like. And now what could that be? Okay, so you can name down sites with this one. That's fun and all. And it appears to freeze people? Why the hell does it freeze people? Oh, plus six ice effect and substantially reduced uh, reload time. You'll notice my knife has no special abilities. Molotov cocktail, nothing. This guy has one, 84% knockback. This guy has two. By the time you get up to the higher tier levels, they can have three or four. Sadly, I've run out of weaponry. Name of the game in a place like this is Keep Moving. Hopefully that will have picked up some ammo. There we go. Fucked up that guy's whole scene. Bitch! Now the doctor here offers weird things like make new rare plus version for 1200. Sounds cool. So now I've got a better knife. What does the knife do? My plus 61 size and plus 61 stun chance. Okay. So I, I like my knife better than my gun, honestly. I would I would really like it if it if my knife were freezy that would be cool because that if that impacts this not just this okay 
break everything. Any of it can contain something valuable. I don't know what the hell that is, but I don't like it. It makes me upset looking at it, so. I guess we'll go in here. Let's see what's in this door. Oh my. Ow. I suppose there's any chance of me stop dropping and rolling, is there? Damn, I am gonna need to get better about these or I am gonna end up dead. Oh, fuck you. want to know the great thing about pulling that lever you think you think you need to like go get that gold and shit once once you've turned off the lever they're all deactivated so I, I probably should have just waited for that it's there's new and different puzzles every time you play though so it's it's not exactly clear like what what is going to benefit you and what's not do you have any health around here what is this That was a fun little room. What else we got? This one. That'll draw some attention. Hey, you look special. You know what I bet you're not? Fireproof? In fact, why don't you all have a taste of that? God damn, that bitch is tough. There we go. <laughs> oh, yes, all that lovely gold and health. Look at it, sure, just lying all around there. One of the annoying things about this game, and it gets me every time, is the fact that they deliberately built in a mouse trigger thing that sometimes fails. Uh, and uh, as far as I can tell, it's, a, it's an issue that a bunch of people have experienced, and they haven't fixed it yet, so I have to assume it's on purpose. But basically, uh, I think they were just trying to make it, like, extra hard, or make it so that you share the frustration of the character as they're dealing with that kind of shit. Um, not really sure exactly what, what the motivation was behind that. But uh, it's almost as though you, your finger slipped on the trigger. Not sure how your finger would slip, you know, on a, on a fucking knife. But, I, I mean, I guess I could see it. Hey, th oh, fuck, I didn't know you were back there. The shotgun guys can do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Oh, yes. Okay, now we get into the weird shit. So, let's take a look at some of these weapons that I've got here, huh? Uh, we'll, get, we'll do the nail gun first. So, Molotov cocktails, self-explanatory. Light them up, or drink them down and then spit fire. Cool, right? 
Easy. Nail gun? Well, who would have guessed? It shoots fucking nails in burst. Nothing exciting there. Um, I'll get my fucking blade back, though. Thank you. All right, now the skull... You have to hit an enemy with it for it to work. Oh, no, you don't. There's fucking skulls there. There's skeletons there. I genuinely thought that I had to actually hit an enemy to, to make them die and turn into a skull. But yeah, now I've just got skeleton minions that follow me around and do my bidding. Which is fun. I love my skeletons. If you ever played as the uh, necromancer in Diablo, you'll appreciate using the skeleton. Um, it's a fabulous way of, of uh, killing people without actually having to go up and kill them. You know? They'll wander around looking for trouble. Uh, now you'll notice that the uh, left click creates a regular skeletal minion that uh, goes up and hits things in the face. Uh, now the, the right click creates uh, uh, skeleton mages who hurl magic at my enemies and that slowly eats at them. So you get um, you get two flavors of death with your skeleton minions. Always a plus. Now, as far as I know, I've only broken open one secret so far. So I'm not leaving yet, because I want to find where the other secret is. I looked all around this room. I didn't find shit. So, we'll do a bit more exploring here. This is the one I kicked open. So the room I started in that doesn't appear to have anything in it. Just looking for a crack. Some plain old cracks in the wall. Just a normal, ordinary, boring set of cracks in the wall. Maybe they're in here. You can sometimes find a secret in a secret. It happens. Actually, now that I think about it, that looks... Nah. Clickety-clackety. Crispity-crunchity. Peanut buttery. Lord, Pat, what are you on about? No, oh, nothing in there, nothing in there, nothing in there. It's alright. Sometimes they're well hidden. No, that's not it. Right around this corner. Over there. Over here. Up in this room. Sometimes the blood splatters that you created by killing enemies cover them up a little bit. It's been known to happen. It's not in here. <laughs> around this corner, around this wall, no. Really, nothing. This fire here and the spikes make it look like this space was being protected, like like that was gonna lead up to the to the hole in the wall. Nothing. So weird. But I guess that's the problem with procedurally procedurally generated rooms is that um, sometimes it builds in a piece that looks significant that absolutely isn't. Bugger all, huh? Okay, well, I guess I'll fuck off and hope that was it. Yeah, see, fucking, there were three secrets in that level somewhere. I didn't see them. Can't take my necromantic skull, can take this, so I'll keep my knife. Because I like my knife. 
And now we go into the fun part called mini games. Oh, I can't open the skill tree yet. All right, well, let me teach me. The previous physician had failed to improve the patient's condition and had managed to get rid of her for dubious reasons. Okie dokie. What an interesting book you've written there, sir. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Ah! It's supposed to be a person there. Can I do the skills right in here? No, I can't. How weird. Maybe you don't get to do that until a little bit later. No, nope, not going in there yet. You'd think that would dull the blade some. These shotgunning boys are my worst fucking nightmare. Yeah, there we go. I like these throwing stars. Those are f holy fuck. That's new. I have never seen those before. Well, when you get the nightmare reaper power up, you better come out slinging. So. Where's the fucking door? There we go. I'll have run out of it by the time I get into another room. Yep. Well, that's a bummer. What a waste. At some point, all of this money comes in handy. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I really like these shuriken. They're cool. That's a new weapon that was added after I um, finished beating the game. through this. Feed me the same damn puzzles twice in a row. There's another problem with procedur procedurally generated weapons or levels. Is uh, you're going to run into the same thing a couple of times. What did I get for a weapon? A knife? Spark book. Well, that's fun. I like that.
Bitch, get off me. And shot what the fuck I have never seen that weapon before <laughs> all right so some things you should be familiar with here absolutely no problem recognizing these two icons so you've got your pump action shotgun single fire aim down the barrel fire again cool no problem reloading an absolute cinch Cool, right? Oh, classic grenade launcher. Different modes. Hmm. That appears to be some sort of timed mine. That's just classic blow up. That's bouncy. A lot of modes on that thing. That's a good time. What the fuck is this nightmare? Hornet Queen? Oh god, I hate that. I hate that so much. That's revolting. Revolting and unacceptable. Horse water? Ah, uh, not here. Well, shit. Horse water makes everything else kind of slow. Speeds you up. It's it's helpful. If a tad confusing. I just want to find something to use this awful, awful thing on. I don't know what that is. That's now. Oh, I don't want to leave the level yet. No, I mustn't. There's there's more things to do, you see. Oh, okay, so this unlocks the skill tree. Cool. That's new. That wasn't like that before. So the skill tree acts a lot like Super Mario. You think you want to go down there, you don't. Woo! Bonus, 200% or plus 200 gold. So as you're playing through, you're like, what, what does it say? Uh, plus 15% walk speed. Uh, plus 20 start life. You know, so you did, they, all, they all have their own benefits. The one I want to get to more than any of the others is the one that lets me hold on to uh, a better weapon or the one that carries more weapons. Because you you can have like up to four at some point, I think. But um, Oh, come on. Watch your step. And you're spending the gold that you have acquired in order to get all of these things. What well, you want, like, where it says, um, treasure? Cool. Uh, there's also one that says, like, 
pick up more gold, 15% more treasure value, plus one coin value. Uh, those will help you get to a, like, obviously you think you want to go for the stuff that gives you the benefits, like better ammo or better weapons and stuff. No, picking this shit up will make these all so much more clearable. And I know because I did it the wrong way my first playthrough. Um... I haven't found any secrets in this level. Let me test this awful thing. That's, it's just the worst. It's the worst imaginable thing. I'm a queen bee. And it's going to be like, you didn't get all the secrets, so you don't get all the treasure. I'm going to be like, guys, you hit the secrets just real, real good. It's got to be in here, right? The, I'm telling you, they were not this hard to find originally. tell you. It's bonkers. I haven't seen a single one or evidence of a single one. Nothing. <laughs> Secrets. None. You found none. You're awful. Alright. I'm keeping the knife. I suspect that the patient was put into my care as some kind of last resort. Probably. There's a secret.
fuck me. He's right there. Let's go. And that right there is why when you get the Nightmare Reaper, you you charge defiant into the center of everything. Like an unhinged lunatic. Because it is goddamn super powerful. Oh, we got our flyy demons now. Useless at a distance, and you know it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it landed on top of them. There was no getting out of that shit. The good news is it was all just a dream. So, we can, we can march right back in there. Oh my god. You don't want to land on top of them. I can tell you that. I'll tell you that for free. What is that done to our inventory? It's zero. I got nothing. That green slime that those guys spit out or leave a patch of on the ground it is is acidic highly unpleasant man fuck you I will tell you this those shotgunners do not become any less of a bitch as the game goes on they are absolutely dreadful. Just one great big colossal pain in the ass from start to finish. <laughs> uh, excuse me? Oh, I was going to say. I heard something. Any of the power-ups in this game are really, really solid, actually. Thankfully, the shotgunners are at least somewhat realistic in that, um... The hell, am I out of throwing knives? I'm gonna say, the button just stopped working there. I've known it to stop for one in the middle of a chain of several, but I've never known it to just stop working. That, that was weird. The power-up we just had was called Reflection. Basically, it just is double damage, double everything. Um, if I slash with, you know, once with a knife, it's it's like my character had two knives and slashed them with both. Um, if, I f if I throw a knife, I throw two of them. And they might not both hit, 
So it's not actually double damage, but if correctly used. If accurately fired out, then... But what about... Oh, Alright. What about this new weapon I picked up? What does it do? What does this pistol do? We've seen the pistol. I, I actually really like this. This is based on um, the Belmont whip. You can whip stuff. It does not hit directly in front of you. It hits actually like a few feet out. And if you bless it, it does a lot more damage. Um, and you don't want to kill things right in front of you because if you do, you end up hurting yourself and it sucks. But if you hit them at that distance, you can do a tremendous amount of harm. And just keep it blessed. Keep it holy. What are you doing in here? Just come get me when you have the chance. You guys can overwhelm me in small spaces. Alright, that pistol is crap! It's funny how the knife is actually one of the best weapons of the game. Is that a puppy? Is that some kind of puppy? Hey, sweetie. How you doing? Are you a good girl? We went for a walk before the stream. So she got to go and exercise. She always makes Tali happy. She's very fit. A fitness puppy. Fun little, little search and reward there. Take the time to climb. Ooh, killed a bunch of people over here. There's my secret. Oh my, yes. A lot of trip. What the hell? reference I guess that, <laughs> um, I know they like to throw in some some references to, to people who have, who have positively reviewed their games and stuff at some point or another uh, you go through a sewer and there's graffiti on the wall that says sorry city uh, which city of London's channel is how I found out about this game it even exists um, so I think it's pretty cool that they that they gave him a shout out, as it were. I don't rightly know, sir. Uh, but I'll tell you what I think might help. New skills. Additional walk speed. Oh, that was cheap. It disappeared out from underneath. Well, you know what you can do? Start the level over again by getting killed. Ha! Uh, nope. 
gonna do it over. Hep, hep. Okay, fuck that up. Hep, hep. Almost, but not quite. Hep, hep, hep. Almost, but not quite. I prefer to obtain absolute perfection if I can. Because why would you do anything different when you can restart a level like that? Yeah. Well, that's something of a ripoff. I didn't know that you could... Just wait for them all to get to the same place. You'd be fooled into doing that, wouldn't you? Uh, fuck. <coughs> You think you want to do that, but your character can't jump high enough to get back up on top of these things, so I think... Yep. Oops. Hup. Hup. No! just 100% more possible than the others. That was a close shave. <laughs> it sounds like Indigo has arrived home. Alright, so my rock speed has been improved.
started this game out with the absolute best song in the soundtrack. Um, and that may sound like a, an unfair statement, but it was fancy. Each one has its own distinct uh, soundtrack, <laughs> and that is just this one is so awesome. But I like it, uh, but this one is my favorite. So keeping this thing running and then using that chain allows you to, oh my god, it's, the chain is essentially a grappling hook. There you go. It doesn't have an infinite reach. It won't carry you entirely across the map, but it will carry you a good long distance, uh, which is pretty fucking useful. You'd think this would be the ideal weapon for the game, but as soon as enemies with, say, shotguns are added into the picture, uh, that kind of blows the whole deal. If you don't kill them immediately, what you have there is, is a very, very bad time. Alright, I think I've done, uh, found two secrets, which suggests to me that I've probably got all of them, because... It's not often there's more than two. I've been called unconventional by some and have a reputation of taking on these impossible cases. I get off on it.
Muscle's pretty heavy. Did you know that? Did you know that, puppy? Oh my goodness, are you just giving me kisses? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can smell pizza on your hands. I'm gonna lick all the pizza off your hands. Is that what's going on? I'm gonna lick all the pizza? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What a silly puppy. You're so cute. Yes, you are. You're so cute. Let me puppy. Okay. Oh. You can do it. There you go. Good girl. Good girl. <clears throat> okay. Let's see here. Let's get back to our game. It's good to see you. I was just playing out of the Nightmare Reaper. Oh, I'm doing good. Doing real good. Um, there's some, some cool things happening at work. I uh, am spending a lot more time over at the Wellness Center. Uh, the audio is there. second. It's okay now? I wonder if this cable was loose and it was giving like half. I wonder how long that's been going on for. Well, thanks for the heads up. Huh. What a pain in the ass. Okay. Well, that wasn't going on the whole first half of the game. We'll, we'll have to see how that went. But Nightmare Reaper is a throwback to the classic uh, first-person shooters of the 90s. Uh, but with all the streamlining and uh, better planning of today... is a bit weird again. What on earth is going on here? Alright, well, uh, hang on. close to my head. I swear this fucking computer is driving me up a wall. If it now has a problem processing audio, I'm gonna be... No? Something kind of fuzzy sounding. God damn it. Adjusting the audio output. <coughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. No, that's it. I'm turning monitor on so I can hear myself.
monitor and oh my god really what the fuck it sounds awful Hello. Hello. What? Has my microphone finally shit the bed after years of loyal service? Just spontaneously decided it doesn't work anymore? Oh, that's just... That's just absolutely infuriating. Weird little... Hello? 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 This... Everything sucks. And everything apparently has to suck. And that's just my life. Can you... Can you... I can't rely on that to not fall apart. It's going to need a new cable. The whole thing is going to need a new cable. I, what's weird is that you're, you're picking up now... This is... It's unplugged. Oh, <laughs> no, this thing's like a decade old. Um, what's weirding me out is, is actually you're picking up my audio and I think it's it's the, the fucking camera. The camera's mic. I sound echoey, but it, instead of sounding like sweet and crisp and professional... Uh, but the, the fucking camera, the Logitech camera's microphone is working better than my oh, great. actual microphone. Good. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. Uh, so I've, I've, it's been like that the entire stream, apparently. Lynn just uh, let me know. Oh, great. Which is good, because she just popped in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, she says meow, by the way. Oh, meow. <laughs> 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 but um Can I have all of these? Huh? Can I have all the leaves? Oh yeah, yeah, you can finish them. 
There's, there were only a dozen, and I ate six of them, so you, that leaves half for you. Which I did on purpose. Thank you. Because I love my baby. Um, so yeah, I guess this thing's just useless now, and I'll use the microphone built into the fucking camera. God damn it. Like a commenter. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, that, how's it? Does that sound okay to you? It's not great. It's not what I want. It's nowhere near what I want. But I, I guess it's gonna have to do. So many technical issues over so many years, and it's like I just wanted a decent mic. Can you, are you hearing like the wind coming off of my computer? Because that is, that is the fan system desperately trying to compensate for the heat issue I've been experiencing. I, d I did get some new thermal paste. That's, that's not even my AC. That's just the goddamn computer. Um, okay, well, good. I, I find it annoying. I want... I want a, a nice mic with a decent audio filter. I want a lot of things. But um, I'll tell you what, this this control arm here with uh, with this little microphone, well, this big, it's quite big. It's the size of my head. Uh, that's just one less thing that I have to take with me to Norway. Uh, Indigo is already looking at uh, apartments in Oslo. She's She's gone mad. Uh, she's she's very very fond of oh my sweet Jesus Christ there was nobody and then all of a sudden they were all there all at once that was a right pretty trap you put together there fellas secret here is just keep moving chainsaw oh my Oh my dear lord, this is, it's all gone horribly tits up, hasn't it? My, my mouse has stopped responding. Hello? Just pressing buttons, hem oh my god, okay, well, yeah, cool. Yeah, there was no getting out of that. It's fun because my mouse stopped responding properly. Uh, it is just like, is everything failing? Because I did like a bunch of puzzles. God damn. It all kind of went a little bit bad there for me, I'm afraid. Just making sure they still work. Let's try it again, shall we? Hey, look! Pressing buttons does things. That's that's good. That's a plus. All right. So, welcome back to Nightmare Reaper, a fabulous game in a fabulous world of uh, hellish delusions, uh, created by our protagonist. Um, nothing is is real. It's all in our dreams. Um, but we are we are haunted. Haunted by certain events which occurred in our youth and uh, which stick with us to this day and we process and deal with those issues by murdering things in our dreams and sometimes in reality it's um, it's detailed in the doctor's journal that, that my character uh, has 100% killed people in the real world as well um, but she does not appear to know the difference between those dreams and, and reality, so it's forgivable. Uh, which is, is, is my, okay, I would say my audio is probably quite a bit louder than the, um, than the audio of the, of the game. What does this orb do? Neat. Oh! 
Oh, yeah. Camo Blade. I will take that in a heartbeat. Over my regular knife. Or Plasma Blade, rather. Treasures. I hope we can make it over there as well. Uh, that would be really cool. Actually, getting a chance to to cross the ocean and and live live in a fantastic magical land across the sea where democracy and socialism meet in a way that actually works for people and you know uh and where they have um sheep and horses and cows and other fun things i don't know man i just really like the vibe it's funny, I was talking to uh, Indigo about this while I was, um, while we were over there visiting, and I think the last time that I went through Oslo, I was uh, in, in a bit of a state. I was bummed out, because uh, I had left my family and quit my job and, and moved over to another country and I thought it was something that I was going to be extremely positive about, extremely excited about and instead I found myself feeling like I had just left behind everything I knew or cared about and then on top of that um, I, I, I know my mother has a lot of health issues and stuff so I was worrying that um she, you know, we don't, we don't know how much time a person has on this planet, and, and somebody who's, you know, as fragile as my mother is, uh, doubly so. So it, it was starting to creep into the back of my head that uh, mom wouldn't be around much longer, and that it was going to be difficult for me to get home, and so that I may not see her that many times before the end. And so having just left the United States, I was already in a mental state like oh i i have fucked up this was this was a fantasy this was uh silly and uh i'm gonna pay for it you know and uh, um part of that is true in in that you know my my mother does have a limited time on this earth uh as do we all uh and so you know, I, I don't know how many times I get to see my mom. Ever. Period. Anymore. Um, but then it occurred to me, uh, as I was uh, turning around and, and leaving and, and coming back uh, to, the, to the U.S., um, I felt really defeated. Like I'd spent a whole bunch of time um, planning this thing, and then I, I had given up on it. And so... It's like, okay, cool, I'm not allowed to feel good about this either way. And both of those moments in my uh, mental situation took place in Oslo. And so, plus the weather was like super dreary. <laughs> um, so when you put all that together, um, I just had this sort of down, dreary outlook on Oslo as a city uh, which isn't fair you know you see Lillehammer and it's all hills and valleys and it's it's pretty and everything um, and you think yay Oslo is boring and Lillehammer is pretty um, it, I don't think I really I, I think I was, uh, was doing a whole bunch of mental shit there and not actually appreciating the city for what it was because uh, just now, having gone for two weeks with Indigo, uh, Oslo was one of her favorite parts. Uh, Gudvangen was was kind of, you know, mind-blowing, just because you, you look at the places, like, it's fucking, holy crap. It's... Again, 
mountains and mist and fog and fjords and just all of the like drama of the landscape, Gudvangen was was kind of a wow moment. Lillehammer, eh, not so. I mean, it's not bad. It's a very pretty town, uh, but it was not the highlight of the trip the way that it was. Um, you know, on a, on a previous trip I'd taken, I really, really liked Lillehammer. Um, so I just thought it was kind of funny that, like, with with somebody else there, seeing through somebody else's eyes, uh, my opinion of, of Oslo could be completely different uh, from, from my last visit. And that I could really think of the place as being a potential home. Um, the whole reason that when I first quit my job and moved there, I chose Trondheim was because it seemed like it was a fairly sizable city, which therefore would have a multitude of job options. So that's a plus. That's like a, a better chance for me to, to actually make it. Um, and then there was the fact that it, it wasn't Oslo. It's a... Um, it's a little bit further out. It's a smaller town. It's got a, a lot of, like, universities, and it's got uh, uh, sort of the, the historic areas of, like, the, the Nidara Stone Cathedral and, and all of that other stuff. So I was like, okay, this will be a cooler... It'll be a cooler place for me uh, than, than Oslo. And at the same time, it'll still afford me many of the same opportunities. So that, that was kind of my... my thinking um, on the process and it's just really really funny how a couple of years uh, and especially a couple of years with a person uh, will will show you otherwise will, will kind of teach you that there are, there are other things that are important to you or that you might uh, appreciate things that you previously wouldn't have so uh, it I think Oslo is a good place to wind up. I think that might be um, that might be what we end up trying to trying to do. Oh, hang on, tick. What's overload? I can load more than well. I twenty four percent free shots. So yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have replaced the knife. We are now working with a double barreled sawed off. Uh, that will be our default weapon. At the end of each level in this game, you have to choose one of your weapons, and that's the one you get to keep into the next dream. That's great, Dodd. Doc. Dodd. Dodd. Hey, Dodd. I don't know what happened there in my brain. Directly under stalactite. Uh, another huge irony is that, uh, you know, shortly after coming back, I mean, it was only a couple of years, and then the pandemic hit, and then I couldn't go anywhere or do anything or see anyone, and we had to isolate anyway. So uh, my feelings of loneliness uh, and isolation, uh, being cut off from my family and everything over in, in Norway uh, when, I, when I quit, um, completely irrelevant, because I was going to feel all of those things no matter what. And then... Uh, members of my family started moving away, uh, and uh, kids started going to college, and my parents got a condo in Florida, and my dad was living in Georgia, and it, it, and I, my other brother's in Rhode Island, and I've got a sister in Korea, and I've got another sister in Florida. Well, you see, they're all over the place, and I'm like, the, Norway has nothing to do with this. Like, what? The, you you quit your job and you move to another country and you, even if you just stayed right at home you're not going to see any of them anyway <laughs> this is kind of like hindsight's 2020 you 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 make a big decision like that and of course there's going to be a few moments where you just kind of go like oh shit and freak out a little bit uh but the decision to come back uh was not necessarily the best of decisions um it paid off in the end, so I'm at Indigo. Um, 
I think we'll do much better. I think I'll do much better over there with someone uh, than I than I did the last time as well. So uh, there's there's a lot of things that I think are going to make this actually work. But the the benefit of hindsight uh, will will definitely show. Hey pups, I found a dog biscuit. Where else will I find a dog biscuit? Um, so there is now in this room, or somewhere near this room, a cute little dog. And I can feed that dog bones, and it makes him happy. Isn't that cute? Even in the nightmare verse, dogs are just a, a source of comfort and happiness. Hey, yep. Oh, oh, shit, shit, shit. All right, well, I'm I'm on the ground level now. There we go, let's try this again. I see what I did wrong last time. Uh, the main problem that I had was falling on the spikes. So you, you don't want to do that. You want to try to avoid the spikes. Oh my god! Just press the jump button in the right spot, Pat! Oh. What I need is health. Health would be very helpful at the moment. Hey, there's another dog bone for the dog. Treasure. Want some more dog bone pupper? Cutie. Cutie patootie. That's what that dog is. Alright, there's gonna be some help pickups around here. I just found one. I slaughtered my way through here, and enemies drop health when they die. So, there has to be some health around here waiting for me to pick it up. Hey, there's more bones. Good. Well, maybe the dog will give me health if I give him more bones. I think that should be all that you get there, buddy. That's the new course of action right there. Because I don't land on spikes there. So we just try for it. Try for it again. Because we know we landed it once. Need to do some work, have a documentary to translate. Maybe back later if you're still streaming. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for dropping by, Lynn. I hope you have a good day. this one. I wanted to. But what we want is not always what we get. There. 37 health. Hurting pretty bad. All the spikes are down. Got a new gun that's rad. I, I don't even know what that is. Power boots. Oh, 
Wow, that's fun. I like that a lot. Oh, they require magic to use that. All right, I'm going to have to be a little bit more conservative about that. Ah, shit. Now I've got acid on me. And, wow, they explode when I die, don't they? And now I've got fire on me. Really need some health pickups. You know, to suit me right down to the ground, some fucking health pickups. But you know, if you want health, you gotta kill people. That's what I always say. I knew I wasn't making it out of there. God damn. This level's fucking brutal. Hey, Legendary Focus, how you doing? Haven't seen you in a dog's age. Looking for secrets. I've got an electric shotgun. Still alive and kicking. I'm glad to hear it. What if I told you that I had the horrible ability to release a cluster of bugs on my enemies? How would you feel about me then? So you probably have that coming. They're just awful. So everything about this weapon is just the worst. The very premise makes me feel ill. Oh man, I'm almost out of mana. Time to switch to the mundane. There's those power boots again, but I can't imagine that I'm like, oh shit! Ugh. That was grizzly. 
Miss Walking Dead at your house. I was just thinking about it for Spooky Month, the zombie shows we used to watch. It's you know what's funny is I was literally telling Indigo about that last night. Um, I was saying uh, every every Sunday, uh, Ivan and Laura used to come over, and even when they had Izzy, uh, <laughs> they would face the little what what do you call it? It's it's not a crib. It's um, well you know what I'm talking about the little the little baby. A little baby chair. You know, the chair that babies go in. Uh, they would face that away from the TV, and little Izzy would just smile at her dad the whole time. And um, it's just awesome. And uh, we actually started watching uh, Walking Dead yesterday. Like, literally yesterday. So it's very peculiar that you showed up and we're just like, oh, hey, you know what? I feel like I'm going to talk to Pat and talk about freaking Walking Dead. That's so funny. Um. But yeah, dude, I miss that too. It was good times. Uh, good times with good people. Is there another door around here? Come on. Come on now. Come on now. There must be another door. Take this one. Why do I always blow up the barrels when I could be using them to fight off other enemies and detonate next to an enemy? The answer is because almost guaranteedly they go off next to me instead. Oh, thank God, a health blob. If you're ever in Buffalo, should a text next time I'm in Syracuse? Absolutely, dude. I would, I would, seriously, I would love to see you guys. I think I've, I think I've seen your son once. Like, I saw Izzy plenty of times, but I think I've seen... I, oh my god, I don't even know his name. I don't even know your son's name. Like that's that's how long it's been, dude. I don't like that at all. I feel awful about that actually. I've abandoned your boy. What's his name, damn it? Wow, that was like a Pokemon super effective right there. Apparently Electric Buck really works on those little demon guys. Leo. Okay. Yeah, I was real bummed when you guys moved to Buffalo. I mean, I'm I'm glad like you're where you want to be. Don't get me wrong. It's like I have a, a current coworker who actually I really like. Um, her name's Renee, and she just got a job, um, like right in her area. She usually drives an hour to be at work every day, and she got a job right in her area as a librarian. She has a freaking PhD in comparative literature. It's absolutely the right job for her. She shouldn't be at a vet clinic as a receptionist when she's got a PhD in comparative literature. She should be doing library stuff. So I'm happy for her, but I'm also just bummed because like I really I really enjoy working with her. She's cool.
Oh crap, where is it? I heard one of the little guys go. Um, yeah, I play some online games. I, I don't play a lot of them on stream because people always ask, hey, will you play this game with me on stream? And it's always like total strangers, like like people who have just joined the chat because they're interested in that specific game. And then they're like, hey, do you play this game online with randos? And I'm like, I no, because I don't know what you're going to say or do, especially if you have a live mic. But if it was you, 100%. Um, Reroll stat value for six. Oh, um, I've got Valheim. Oh, let me take a look through the list. We'll just go ahead and switch into uh, uh, talking mode for a moment. <laughs> How you doing there? And then I'll take the through my list. Uh, so I've got Seven Days to Die, which is definitely two-player. Um, I've got Blood Fresh Supply. Chef's Kiss of a Game. One of the major inspirations for the game that I'm playing right now, actually. And you can totally play that game online. What is that sound? Are you hearing that? What is that? Hang on a sec. Hey. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I'd sure like that to stop, though. Is something... Oh, my God. It, it is the cable... Oh. Yeah, get right in there. It's the cable. On the table. If I pick you up, you're fine. What are you doing? It's like vi <clears throat> my camera's vibrating. Stop that. I don't like it. So my mic, you remember the mic that I won in that contest at work uh it finally crapped out today so i'm now stuck relying on the microphone of my crappy logitech camera it's great i'm having a great time today everything's going exactly the way i know i i, I got it i have no guarantee that it won't start doing that again in five seconds but that's okay um so anyway, uh, Seven Days to Die, multiplayer, uh, Deep Rock Galactic. I got that. That's multiplayer. I'd love to give that a shot. I haven't given it a shot yet. Um, Dying Light 2. Absolutely two-player. Uh, Far Cry 5. Also multiplayer. Until I get my thermal issue resolved with this computer, though, not a possibility, because that puts my CPU directly at the limit of what is safe for my CPU to do. And I can go ahead and tell you right now, um, if I try to run Streamlabs at the same time, it'll push it over the edge, and my computer will just cook itself. So I don't want to do that. Um, the Forest. Forest is multiplayer. Love to play that. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Monstrum. I have been meaning to try Monstrum with uh, with another player. That would be cool. Uh, no Man's Sky. Haven't played it yet. Bought it months ago. Haven't actually even started it up. I heard it's extremely difficult to do one player, and so if you'd like to do that, I'd give that a shot. Uh, let's see here. Phasmophobia. <laughs> Good times. Very Halloween-y. I'd be keen to do that. Um, none of the Stalker games are multiplayer. None of the Star Wars and the Old Republic games are multiplayer. Starbound is multiplayer. Uh, Stardew Valley is multiplayer. Uh, 
Valheim is very multiplayer. Um, and that concludes my list of games that you can play with other people. Uh, at least I, that I have on my PC. Uh, I've, got, I've got other games that are uh, PlayStation 4. Uh, if you want to play that. But, uh, well, you get the idea there, buddy. Oh, you haven't switched to PC? Oh, okay. Well, then... Then, I, as far as multiplayer games go, I would have to boot up my PS4 and remember what the hell I have. Because, um, I'll, I'll give you a hint. If it was free that month with PlayStation Plus, <laughs> I've got it. If it costs money, no, I probably don't. Um, haven't actually ever bought a lot of games. It's the, the consequence of being perpetually broke. Um, but good news! I'm not perpetually broke. Perpetually. Just most of the time. And especially now, having just gotten back from two months in Norway. Two months, two weeks. Good lord. Two months. Now that would have been something. Um... Two weeks was good. I enjoyed two weeks. Also, it's an excellent reference to the movie Total Recall. Two weeks! Uh, what's up, Skelepitan Gunner? Yes, I saw you sneaking up back there too, bitch. Who else is back here trying to make trouble for me? You want to move there, I think? Uh, yes. Um, I quit my job and moved there and then came back very soon after. Because I have mental problems. Uh, but... <laughs> uh, this time it's different for several reasons. Uh, number one, mental problems are at their absolute worst uh, when you're uh, concerned for uh, the people you love. And uh, Indigo is very, very nervous about the state of the Americas at the moment. And so we would like to get out. Um, and two, uh, you do a lot better when you're not alone. Uh, three. Spent three years away from my family during the pandemic. Why not just live that way? Uh, four. There's there's so many reasons why it's different this time. Um, but yeah, suffice to say, I, I think it'll go a lot better this time than it did the last time. And uh, uh, so I'm, we're going to go for it. So... Looking at looking at apartments. What are you doing here? Sell your most used weapon? No, I'm gonna sell. No, you couldn't convince me to do that. What do you think I'm dumb? Oh yeah, I think we're. I, you know, it's been, I'm trying to do pretty good. Um, it's it's been an interesting uh, year, I would say. After uh, after leaving the. The previous employer and, and starting at the at the vet hospital and getting the dog. You haven't seen the dog yet, have you? You should see the dog. The dog's great. Hang on a second. Right. Oh, all the spikes are gone now because I made the spikes go down because I had the switch. Right. Right then. No deal. Uh, where's my puppy? Wait, 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 you gotta meet the dog, hang on. Tolly! Tolly Zora! Come here, Tolly! Come here, Tolly! <gasps> There's my puppy! Oh my goodness, look at you, you're like a little hurricane. Come on up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Does my 
Bumpy, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, you're so difficult to handle. There you go. Oh, look at this puppy. Look at this good puppy. Getting belly rubs, getting lots of belly rubs. Arr, 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 arr. Is she not the sweetest? Is she not the cutest puppy that you ever did see? She's my good girl. Yes, she's my good girl. She gives lots of kisses. She's a North American kissing hound. She gives lots and lots of kisses. Yeah, baby, you know how I was saying last night uh, about how um, I used to have Ivan over every week to watch Walking Dead Hi. with his wife and how I missed him? Yeah. He just oh popped, my God, he so just popped in on the stream. Hi, so. Hi. And I, was, I just thought it was hysterical <laughs> because he said the exact same thing. He's like, hey, I miss I miss coming over for Walking Dead every oh, week. I was so like, funny. we started watching it yesterday. So oh. anyway, so that's my puppy and that's my girlfriend. And... Um, it's it's really really good to hear from you, man. Um, I know I'm terrible at staying in touch, but uh, it doesn't mean that I I don't actually genuinely care about people. It just means that I have uh, mental issues and communication problems. Um, but it's it's really good to hear from you, dude. Uh, come back anytime. Uh, shoot me a text. Like you said, if you're ever in town, just give us a yell. <gasps> come here, come here, you goose. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This ferocious puppy is going to eat me alive. Oh. You are so silly. You are. You're such a good pup. Careful. Careful, sweetie. That's a good girl. All right. Take it easy, man. Good to see you again. Well, read you again. <laughs> read, read text typed messages from you again. <laughs> as as once I did in days past. All right, I think I might actually have beaten this level, which is incredible because I was getting my ass absolutely handed to me uh, by it over and over and over again. So oh, the girl's laughing at me now. She thinks it's, she thinks that's funny. But I get the get the gold. Give me the gold. Okay, let's see if we completed this thing. Bidink, 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 bidink. Yeah! Complete bonuses. All of the bonuses one could hope for. I, I gotta keep a shotgun. That's gotta be the shotgun, man. Didn't realize just how cute she'd be. You know, for a murderer. I am pretty adorable. And my eyebrows are on point. What's that? It's copyrighted music. Um, let's try not to listen to that, shall we? What? What are you doing? We, oh, you're your toy? We got her a toy duck that you're supposed to be able to, like, pull and then launch. Because um, it has, like, a stretchy spring neck. And she tore the head off um, within a day. <laughs> so, it didn't go so well. Magic spells. I think this one gives me health for everybody I, that I kill. Something like that. I don't remember. Nope. No, it does not. There's nothing of the sort. What are you doing running back and forth like that, bitch? Wow, you're really nimble, huh? Then again, I apparently can't kill something that's right in front of me, so... Oh, 
Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm a little bit confused about the fact that I'm not picking up health from these blue orbs. It's, it's weirding me out to some extent. Uh, that doesn't matter. Let's go to the skill tree and let's get that plus one coin value thing. Oh, for God's sake. Well, don't do that. Well, he won't like that. Oh, f seriously? Bollocks, anyway. It's a good thing you have infinite lives in this thing. There we go. Plus 200% gold. Gold! You know what I'm going to do is grab these things. And then go up this way and take the top right. You knew it was going to happen. You had to know it was going to happen. Squirt. Dun. 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 Come here, you dirty fecker. Oh, shit. All right, well then. Hup. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I get credit for killing you, sir. That is how it works out. 200% bonus treasure there. Plus one weapon slot. Yes. I would like that. You know what I'd kind of like, though? Treasure. This level, so it's like easy, but repetitive and essentially designed to hurt your joints. So I'm going to have to do that at least two more times. 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 I swear I'm not doing that on purpose. It's just I'm not I'm not hitting the jump. At the, there we go. That was all I needed. I just I was afraid of pressing it too early and then I'd miss it. This would be so much easier with a controller. But a keyboard and mouse where you're using the WSA and D keys is actually painful on the hands. And then this you can't do no matter how hard you try. Can't get them all. I 
I don't know if it's good to do that thing or not, because I, I feel like I didn't actually gain anything from it. You get coins for killing these bastards. Yeah, you too. Alright. I was gonna say, get, I'm get taking credit for killing him though. Now we'll go this way. I don't quite get it though, do you? Wham, two, three. There, an extra weapon slot is extraordinarily useful. So why don't we just go ahead and put this thing in here. The puzzle box. Oh, what on earth is the puzzle box? And how could it possibly benefit me? I'll show you, my friends. The puzzle box is a horror. It's like Pokemon, you see. You catch the beast. Then you go and fetch him. And now I can use him against his comrades. What you got there? Change the weapon stat. Uh, no. no. I don't think I will. In fact, I think I'll kill you for even suggesting such a thing. I've just come up with a rather good joke if you're Irish. You know the the soft drink known as Dr. Pepper? What if you really didn't like your physician? You could call him Dr. Fecker. I'm glad that the, uh, the girl in the game thinks I'm funny. the horse water no no you can't make me do it is there anything else in here needs a breaking any secrets to be found nothing all right here we go i got reflection coming here all mad Where the f How in the ruddy hell did you get behind me? It's not right what you did to me just then. OK, 
came in through here, didn't you? Hiding in the corner. You ignorant bastard. Oh, what the... I wasn't expecting that. trouble. Suddenly, not anymore. How is that explosion hitting me from all the way over there? That is a bit bullshit, I have to say. I got nine fucking health left. I'm not going to make it. Interesting. Did I actually? No, I didn't fully explore. There's another avenue around here. I'm going to try to take on with 10 health. See how that serves me. Oh, it's one of these. One false step should kill me, I believe. Actually, that worked out surprisingly well. There were no enemies in it. Well, let's see. Was that everything, or did I miss something? We'll find out in... Oh, please don't walk over spikes and die. That would be such a shame. Two health left. Unbelievable. Actually made it out. <laughs> and complete. That's awesome. Well, that worked out about as well as it was ever gonna. That's cool. And what do we keep? Well, I think the choice is obvious. This Sano shotgun has served us well. Hey. Uh, someone's left me door open. A key card. Nothing 
to do with that key card. It's a damn shame. Oh, what, because you thought it was so hot? Oh, yeah, I know. I get it. Immemorial Woods. These woods not dedicated to the memory of anyone. What's that? It's a pistol. It's a grenade pistol. The hell was that? Extra tough, are we? So you're like two barrels to the nose, huh? Get a good whiff of that. Oh, you're uh, actually quite durable, aren't you? There we go. Blew up into enough gold, though, didn't he? Oh, nice. Got my plasma rifle and everything. Alright, let's start equipping different weapons here, because I like the Ice Bolt book. You're fun. Hey, Laura, how you doing? It's good to see you. Playing some retro shooter classic style games here. This is uh, Nightmare Reaper. It's inspired by some of the greats. And frankly, it does them justice. Got home from work a little while ago, watching the Bills game. Ah, that Bills. No, it's the Bears, I know. But uh, how's, uh, how's that going for you? You know, watching the, the local sports team. Are they, are they living up to the expectations and indeed the hopes? I, I never cared about sports, you know that. But if you care about it, then that's enough for me. Ooh! A new weapon. Sword and shield. Alright, so. Like having a shield that I can block with. Like having a sword I can cut people with. Think that's funny, do you?
Not this game so far. I sort of don't care. I like to see it. Sorry, I can't afford the concentration just yet. Soldier boy. Uh, I was just sort of. I like to see them to do well, <laughs> uh, but I don't get angry if uh, if they don't. It it is what it is. Gotcha. Well, that's a plus. I the, it's the rabid, the ravenousness, the rabidness, the it's the fucking crazed bullshit that I can't bear. Honestly, uh, if you're if you like watching sports, that's cool. I got zero issue with that. It's when people start getting like, well, for instance, one day I was walking through the mall as I often did because I worked there at the time. Um, and I was wearing a t-shirt with a logo from Dragon Ball Z on it. It's the um, Kaio logo that, you know, for when when Goku is training under King Kai. And um, it's a circle with some weird lines through it. And it, it's a very specific design. Um, and I, I guess it looks like the Boston Bruins logo to some people. And so from like across the hall, like there's a there's a divide gap in between the two locations. Um, the, this guy just like shouted at me, you were in a Bruins shirt? And I was like, no, it's it's from Dragon Ball Z. And he was like, oh, all right then. And I'm like, please don't involve me in whatever bizarre obsession that you have with your sports, sir. Can we, can we please just, can I please just go about my daily life without, without you shouting things at me for no reason? Um, but I, gu I guess that sort of thing is perfectly acceptable when you're a, a sports fan. And I, I'm like, no, I, I don't need any of that. Thank you. And if it was a Bruins shirt, like, if it had been a Bruins shirt, would he have continued to hurl obscenities at me? Or w would he have just moved on with his fucking day? Like, so are you wearing a Bruins shirt? Yes. Would he have been like, fuck you, man? Like, or or what? Where, where was it going? is what I would kind of like to know, and at the same time, I'm really glad that I don't know. Because um, I, ju I just have zero patience or interest in that kind of thing. It is it is exactly the sort of thing that I see going on with people's, like, politics. Where they're, where they're like... They, they want to have, like, a team that they root for. I am, I am not Team Democrat. Trust me. They are a bunch of corporate suck-ups and losers. And they have absolutely no idea how to govern. And it's pathetic. It's pathetic to watch. Um, but you know what they aren't? Uh, straight up evil. So that's why I so often end up voting for them. Well, I don't know how to get up there, and I'm upset about it, and I don't mind telling you. Oh, well, I got a chainsaw, so I guess I'll do that. Chainsaw. Work shed. Oh, hey there, fella. How you doing?
Guess that's what I get for opening doors. Come on out, you disgusting little fairies. Where's that big one that was out here? It's really, really important to me that if somebody heard me say, come out here, you disgusting little fairies, they would understand that I'm talking about the fact that these are gargoyles and they look like fairies that have been mutated by toxic sludge and that I wasn't using a slur against the homosexual community. I, I would really hope that a stranger who happened upon a clip of that would be like, no, he's, they look like gross fairies. Um, I would hope. But, you know, it is important to, uh, to check yourself before, indeed, you wreck yourself with, uh, with statements like that. Skeletons. I do like my skeletons. I believe we'll take down. All right, boys, let's party. Topaz tree. What the hell? I don't know what this means. What? Buy max light. No. What the hell? It, am I playing Pokemon? A wild... What? Okay. I'm so confused. 
Like, do I just play this forever now? So do, is this is this forever now? I I don't know anymore. What if I leave it? Can I go back in and I'm right where I was? Yeah. Uh, okay. Apparently. What if I don't want to play Topaz Tree? What if I want to play? I can switch to regular skill tree. Fucking phenomenal. That's awesome. Okay, cool. So there's just like a Pokemon game built into my game now. That's that's fun. I'm fine with that. There's no problem here. I was really scared that that replaced my regular skill tree and I was going to like how do I unlock my weapons and how do, you know what I mean? Like I got a little freaked out there. Cuz the skill tree has levels upon levels upon levels, and that that would have been that would have been weird. That would have been really weird. Come on, Skeletons! a whole lot of fun. Come on, Skeletons, we have places to be, and things to do, and such. I, d I don't want to open Topaz Tree, thank you. That's that's enough. Thank you for telling me the little notification of the button. That's, that's, that's fun. What exactly do I do to get up there? I get up there, and then I go up here, yeah. There's nothing else. Is this just a very short level? I suppose it could be. And I guess that's all right. Yeah. It's a very short level. Okay. You know I'm taking the shotgun. It was a very peaceful summer morning is what I remember about it. 
So, Laura, how is uh, mother life treating you? Hey, the pup is here. So there are throughout the level many dog bones which can be collected now and then given to the pup. This is, like the knives, another infinite weapon? Is that what I'm getting? Yeah, it looks that way. Oh, that's new. I've never seen that weapon before. What is it? An eye? A thorn parasite. Explain yourself, thorn parasite. goes precisely where it's told. It's deeply unnerving. I don't like it.
Hey pup, I brought you some more bones. A little further down here, let's see what other mayhem we can get up to. Excuse me, you little shit. It's awful. I don't know why that one blew up, but I'm not complaining. Exactly roll over that key in order to get it, huh? It's a little stupid. and I'm jumping boots, they're stupid. Is that a cracked wall I see? It sure is. Hey, another bone for the pup. That'll sure make that pup happy. Oh, don't worry, pup. I gotcha. There you go. Treasure's all around. And lastly, Let's see here. Do I want this horrifying eyeball or rocket launcher?
Thought I saw some cracks, but I guess I was wrong. Thought I saw some cracks! Hey, another bone. Good, I found a Nightmare Reaper that'll come in handy for what I presume is the last room. What I dare to hope is the last room. But first... Here, and I think that should be the last of the bones for the pup. Good pup. Probably too late to use it anyway. Nobody in here. Oh well. Cause that's how I do. She was surrounded by several lawmen and we first had to have a full staff meeting about safety when dealing with the patient. Did we? Did we really? Well, I'd say that was pretty spooky, wasn't it, kitties? <laughs> um I think uh, I think that'll be uh, that'll be all for the stream today. I think that that was uh, quite satisfactory. Uh, so uh, here's wishing you a spooky but perfectly safe holiday season. Uh, I, I really enjoy Halloween. I enjoy October. Um, I know there's a lot of people who kind of jump the gun on it. Uh, they're like, hey, yeah, it's time for freaking Halloween. It's September, and I start seeing Halloween shit in August, and I'm like, all right, everybody, settle down. Just just stop it. Uh, but uh, the way I figured it, uh, just about every holiday uh, kind of gets dominance over its particular month. So let's go ahead and say that the month of October is uh, is spooky season. I will probably do a couple more shorter streams uh, than usual, like a, a few extra nights uh, a week or something like that, just because I want to really squeeze as much spookiness as possible into... Uh, into the the month here so uh pop back in see me again sometime and until next time it's good night and good luck <laughs>